addicts, you know what they say about Texas, right? Everything's bigger in Texas. When it comes to motorcycles, nothing has a bigger following than the Texas Hill Country. I have heard about the infamous Twisted Sisters of Texas since before I started riding. Well, Iron Horse Addiction finally decided it was time to check it out and see what all the hype was about. Join us and let us see if everything really is bigger in Texas. Texas is a bit of a historic place for Iron Horse Addiction. The first ride Hitch and I planned was to Big Bend National Park in Southeast Texas. So in March of 2019, Robert, Hitch, and myself headed to Texas. Man, was it a rough start. I believe we replaced four trailer tires before we ever arrived at our hotel in the budding metropolis of Van Horn. You'll have to forgive the video quality. The cameras back then were terrible. But here's some video from that first ride. Being desert dwellers, I'm not gonna lie. Big Ben was underwhelming to say the least. We actually had no desire to return and ride in Texas ever again. However, every time I googled motorcycle rides in the US, the Twisted Sisters of Texas was always listed. It took us 120,000 combined motorcycle miles and four years, but we're headed back to Texas. What's up, addicts? Today's the day. The addicts are headed to the Twisted Sisters in Texas. It's ride day and we can't wait. Stay with us for the show. Here we got Hitch doing his best work. Yeah. What's your phone, Tanner? Yeah, I probably do. Uh, say this but I ride with a bunch of fair weather riders we're riding and these guys say oh the rain's coming we got to pull over and get some protection that's not how the addicts ride but I guess we are this week well that's a rough start to the motorcycle trip look what we got here this right here is another real biker that is part of Iron Horse Addiction. This guy, he's cool, but that guy looks like a biker. All right guys, today we are heading to the border, then to San Antonio and to Myron's Steakhouse, which is supposedly the number two steakhouse in all of San Antonio. So we'll see, we'll let you know. Tell me that wasn't the most stunning, beautiful scenery you've ever seen. It wasn't. <laughs> That's the worst part of the ride though. Now we're getting into hill country. So it should be much, much better. Alright, well, your rides are always good, so let's keep it up. <laughs> so I have a question for all you Texans out there. What is the correct name? The Twisted Sisters of Texas or is it called the Three Sisters of Texas? I've seen it both ways all over the internet. So let me know in the comments below so I can speak intelligently about it. I'm going to go with Twisted Sisters for now because I think it's more catchy. You may be asking yourself, where in Texas are the Twisted Sisters located? Because the state of Texas is huge. Well, the Twisted Sisters are comprised of three roads, Texas 335, 336 and 337 that are located in Texas Hill Country about one hour west and slightly north of San Antonio. The combined mileage of these three roads is just over 165 miles. If I had to rate them, 337 is by far the best ride and 336, meh. That being said, I'd love for you to let me know your favorite Twisted Sister and why it's your favorite in the comments below. 
There are other roads like the 83, the 187, and the 16 that veer off the 337 as you head east towards San Antonio. However, those roads are not considered part of the Twisted Sisters. Honestly, who cares? They were fun to ride and they had some pretty cool attractions that you don't want to miss. One of the attractions in the area is the Lone Star Motorcycle Museum, and it was a great stop. I think it was eight bucks to enter the museum, but it was well worth it because you get to sit on a vintage Harley with a sidecar. I believe that it's the only bike you can sit on, but let's be honest, you wouldn't sit on a Van Gogh painting, and these bikes are works of art. It was really cool to see some of these older bikes up close. Another attraction is Texas Barbecue. Everyone says you can't beat Texas Barbecue, and there are barbecue joints everywhere in Texas. I was told by a local that I had to stop at Kesey's Barbecue in Medina. He said it was a top five barbecue joint in all of Texas. Well, I didn't stop, so I'm not sure what I missed, but apparently it has delicious barbecue with the best pies around. So be better than me, and make sure you stop at Kesey's Barbecue for some great grub. Addicts, Texas was starting to disappoint me for a second time. I mean, the Twisted Sisters were supposed to be a destination ride for bikers, and it's been okay at best. Then we hit Texas 337 at Frio Canyon, and my mind was completely changed. This section of the Twisted Sisters is absolutely beautiful. It has sweeping curves, elevation gain, creeks, open meadows, dense forests, and breathtaking landscapes. We rode it going east, then rode it going west, and they seemed like two different rides, both beautiful and exhilarating, but completely different rides. On the outskirts of Leaky near the western edge of town is the world famous Frio Canyon Motorcycle Stop and home to the Bent Rim Grill. Addicts, I'm telling you, these guys have it figured out. The layout, the atmosphere, the food, decorations, and people, it just screams motorcycle dive. I consulted with my friend Google and it doesn't look like Guy Fieri has hosted Bent Rim Grill on Triple D. He has no idea what he is missing. Addicts, after a great burger, it was time to head out to San Antonio and our next feeding at Myrids. We have about three hours to our hotel, so time to put down some miles. What's up, Eddicks? You can see we're in a car now because Hitch and Easy didn't want to ride their Harleys. Oh, speaking of Harley, look at that, Harley Davidson dealership. That's what I'm talking about. So we actually spent an hour and a half sitting in traffic today. It freaking sucked. So San Antonio, I'm sure is a great city, not for motorcyclists way too freaking busy especially on a friday anyways it's hot as well so we decided for our trip to myron's we're gonna uber myron's in san antonio was awesome great location and atmosphere perfectly cooked steaks crab legs were a bit steep but delicious numerous side options and most importantly the creme brulee was on point Highly recommend Myron Steakhouse in San Antonio. So what are my thoughts about the Twisted Sisters in Texas? 
Was it worth a solid 10 hour drive from Arizona? That's a really good question because most of the ride felt like any other day in Arizona. But Texas 337 and Frio Canyon were pretty epic. Maybe a better question is, was it worth a 10 hour drive to ride the Texas Hill Country? That's right, addicts. The Twisted Sisters are only a small portion of what you can experience in the Texas Hill Country. Join me next week as we see the rest of what Texas has to offer. <laughs>